Choosing what to do first in New York is difficult, so we're limiting your choices. These new and old attractions will amaze anyone visiting from out of town or a bored local looking to see more of the city. These are our famous New York City activities, from strolling through Central Park to eating soup dumplings in Chinatown. It's true that there's never a shortage of exciting new restaurants, museums, scenic overlooks or natural wonders to discover. We try to pick the top 10 things to do in New York during your next vacation. We're hoping that this list will attract first-timers and veterans alike. Have the finest time in the city. Number 10. Visit Grand Central Terminal Grand Central, New York's most stunning building, opened in 1913. Grand Central Terminal is the world's most popular and largest train station by track count. One of the world's busiest stations, three quarters of a million people travel through this place daily. Its design is as stunning as its height. It appears in several movies, so you've probably seen it. It's a famous movie set and a favorite proposal spot. The main concourse ceiling is the best part. It is 125 feet high and has a mural of gold leaf constellations on it. The building's exterior is stunning, standing out among Midtown's glossy modern structures. Number 9. Enjoy the top of the rock views You can see some of the best views of New York City from the observation deck at the top of the rock. Guests can enjoy breathtaking views of Manhattan from the observatory deck, which spans the 67th, 69th and 70th floors of Rockefeller Center. It's possible to see 4 kilometers in every direction on a sunny day. At night, when the city lights come on, Top of the Rock is bustling with visitors. Top of the Rock is always a memorable thing to do in New York City, no matter how many times you've been there. Every time you look around, the view will be unique. Top of the Rock should definitely be on your itinerary for New York City. Number 8. Explore Brooklyn Bridge The Brooklyn Bridge is not only one of New York's most recognizable monuments, but also the oldest suspension bridge in the United States and a national historic landmark. We agree that a stroll across the Brooklyn Bridge is a must when visiting New York City and that it should be on everyone's list of things to do. Our advice is to pack your schedule full of must-see attractions and events in New York City. Instead of looking in the opposite direction, you can take in the breathtaking panorama of Manhattan's skyline. Walking across the Brooklyn Bridge is best done either very early or very late. That is true of pretty much every tourist destination in the Big Apple. If you don't have a lot of time and don't mind plenty of people getting in your way, crossing the Brooklyn Bridge on foot during rush hour can be a very difficult experience. Number 7. Visit the Museum of Modern Art The Museum of Modern Art is without a doubt one of the most well-known museums in the world. Many of the most well-known museums in the world are in New York City. Located in the heart of Midtown Manhattan, just a few minutes stroll from the bustling Times Square, the Museum of Modern Art houses an extraordinary collection of modern and contemporary art. The museum's holdings include everything from sculptures and paintings to photographs and films. The Museum of Modern Art is a destination that every art enthusiast should see at least once because, in addition to its permanent collection, it frequently presents a wide range of rotating temporary exhibitions. On Fridays from 4pm to 8pm, admission is based on a pay-what-you-wish policy, making it an affordable option for tourists on a tight budget. If you want to avoid a long wait, though, you should be there as early as possible. Number 6. Travel to Staten Island by ferry Seeing New York City from the water is one of the best ways to experience the city, and taking the ferry to Staten Island is the ideal way to do so. The actual boat ride takes about 25 minutes, and during that time, passengers get to see the breathtaking views of the Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island, and the cityscape of Manhattan. When you go to Staten Island, you'll find there are a lot of activities to do here. You have the option of going to the Staten Island Zoo, strolling around historic Richmond Town, or exploring one of the many parks or nature paths on the island. Taking the ferry to Staten Island is an excellent opportunity to see New York City from a fresh vantage point. And it is an adventure that you won't soon forget. Number 5. Explore Chinatown while traveling An integral part of what makes Lower Manhattan so exciting and memorable is Chinatown. The small lanes of Chinatown are filled with bright heaps of vegetables, delicious ducks hanging in windows, and restaurants both old and new. As soon as you step out of the Canal Street subway station, you'll see lots of people, neon-lit shops, and people selling fake designer bags. Chinatown, which spans part of Tribeca, Soho, Little Italy, and the Lower East Side, has been home to new arrivals from China since at least the 1850s. You're welcome to travel there as long as it best suits your needs. 
everyone can take something away from a trip to Chinatown, whether you only have an hour to have a box of roast pig or duck from the street style Wafeng No. 1 before moving on, or if you have a whole day to shop for produce, dine out and check out the Museum of Chinese in America. Number 4. Visit the Statue of Liberty Tourists come year-round to see this beacon. Let's talk about its visiting options. The most popular way to take the ferry from Battery Park in Lower Manhattan to Liberty Island, stop at Ellis Island, then return to Manhattan. The first boat departs Battery Park at 9am, while the last leaves Liberty Island at about 4.30pm. Tips from recent tourists can help you maximize your day. First, get in line early to get one of the first boats. 2. Purchase a ticket and take the ferry from Liberty State Park in Jersey City, New Jersey to complete the same tour with shorter lines. Recent visitors also suggested getting a pedestal ticket, which must be booked ahead of time. New Jersey, New York City, the New York Harbor, and Ellis Island are visible from the pedestal, which is about half the monument's height. Number 3. Go for a stroll down Broadway Most people agree that Broadway is one of the most well-known streets in New York City. Broadway is home to some of the most recognizable landmarks in New York City, including the Broadway Theatre District and the Broadway Ballroom. It stretches from Times Square all the way down to Lower Manhattan. It is also a wonderful area to do some shopping, as it's the location of many of the city's well-known retailers, such as Macy's and Saks Fifth Avenue, amongst many others. In addition, a trip to Broadway is not complete until the visitor has experienced at least one of the famous Broadway shows. On Broadway, there's a little bit of everything for everyone, from musicals to dramas. Be sure to put Broadway at the top of your to-do list if you're looking for things to do in New York City. Number 2. Take a walk in Central Park One of the most enjoyable activities in New York City is a stroll through Central Park. After walking the downtown streets, it's a free and lovely area to relax. The park is a major draw for tourists from all around the world. It's also one of the top filming destinations worldwide. You may simply walk around on your own, rent bicycles, and do a couple of laps around the entire park. Or do something very touristic and take a horse-drawn carriage trip. There are plenty of places to rent bicycles on the park's outskirts. Take a walk along Central Park Mall to Bethesda Terrace. Relax on the Great Lawn and pay your respects at the Strawberry Fields Memorial, which honors John Lennon. The Central Park Zoo, the Carousel, and the park's 21 playgrounds are all great destinations for families with young children. The Loeb Boathouse and Tavern on the Green are two additional dining options. Number 1. Visit the top of the Empire State Building The Empire State Building is an iconic New York City landmark. The Empire State Building is a skyscraper in Midtown Manhattan that rises an impressive 1,454 feet into the air and provides breathtaking panoramas of the surrounding areas. Riders of the elevator can access the 86th floor observation deck which offers breathtaking views of the whole city. Travelers will be able to see up to 80 miles away on a clear day. On the 102nd level of the Empire State Building is the observatory, which has both an open deck and a crystal promenade. When it celebrates its 100th anniversary in 2023, the Empire State Building will become an even more well-known place for tourists to go when they are in New York City. Tourists can get tickets to the Empire State Building's observation decks either online or at the building's ticket booth. So that's it for today. Which one do you like the most? Tell us in the comments section. We'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and keep traveling.